One thing that I, th I think a lot of people know about is Boston Dynamics, right? That, that's kind of the, the robotics company that gets a, a lot of eyeballs when, when they release videos. And uh, I'm sure you've seen those videos. Absolutely, too. it's amazing. Yeah, but, but the ABB robots actually uh, look very different, right? And there's many yeah. more of them, for that matter, and, and, yeah. and they're, they're working hard behind the scenes. But can you maybe describe the difference between, you know, what does a Boston Dynamics robot look like, what people are yeah. used to, and then in contrast, what does a typical yeah. ABB robot look like? Yeah, <clears throat> the, the industrial robots uh, that are mostly used are in three different type of uh, what we call kinematics. So how you assemble the different links that compose the mechanical part of the robot. The, the, the biggest part of uh, robots in, in industrial use are what we call serial kinematic robots. So basically you have a number of joints uh, and links that are mounted one after, on top of the other. So you have a first axis that rotates attached to the floor. On top of that, you mount another axis that pivots against the first axis and normally up to six axis. And basically that has kind of the, the shape of, a, of an arm. So that's why we call it robotic arms. Then there are other variants, like uh, some people call it the spider robots, which are parallel kinematic mm -hmm. robots that move very fast and they look, yes, can look like a spider. And then you have the scatter robots, which yet another way of mounting the axis. So the, um, these are the typical configurations. Uh, and they are like this because one of the basic things on robots is reach and payload. I mean, that may mm -hmm. sound like a boring thing, but when you go into industrial uh, things, I mean, how, how much the robot can handle and how far it can reach is one of the basic things. So to optimize that is leading to these kinematic choices. So to give some perspective here, right? I mean, the ABB arms are, are, are arms, the robots. They're not full bodies like a Boston Dynamics robot tends yeah. to be. Yeah. But as you said, they have a spread of reach and, and strength. Can you, can you say a little bit about how, how strong are the strongest ABB oh, yeah. So that's super interesting because, I mean, we have robots like Yumi. By the way, Yumi is a dual arm robot. Uh, many people have seen is the more, let's say, egg catching robot that we have because it has kind of a human torso and two arms. A and that can lift as little as half a kilo. So it's, it, it's a pretty low payload robot because it is designed to assemble chips into, into electronic boards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the robots that are carrying these spot welding things. They carry some uh, few hundred kilos. But then we have our larger robot, 8700, which is a Titan of four meters high, which can carry one ton. And one can ton. basically lift a car or lift a, yeah, a complete a stack of pallets, stuff like that. Wow. So that robot, if it, it, it can just, it lifts a car, no problem is what you're saying, just on its own. Yeah, absolutely. It's used as an elevator sometimes. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And then on, on the other end of the spectrum, you, you have the Yumi, but you also have the spider robots you, you yeah. just mentioned. And I'm also really intrigued by those because as I understand, they can go really, really fast. Can you say more about that? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, th th these are the, de the Delta robots, spider robots, parallel kinematic robots. The beauty of those robots is that, uh, as I said, in the serial robots, every axis is mounted on the previous one. So you imagine the inertia that the first axis has to move the, the, all the rest. So this makes them with less acceleration. But if you want to go super fast, and these uh, are the videos where we are picking cookies and putting them into the blisters or into the boxes, uh, you have a robot where it is mounted in a way that every axis is independent, is parallel. So you have very low inertia, you can go very fast. And uh, these robots are, are hitting rates uh, where you can make uh, half a second cycle time, okay? So uh, this is, wow. uh, yeah, can you imagine? Uh, uh, you, you cannot even uh, see it. So half, every second, it picks and plays two parts. Now, I'm imagining, I, I'm just trying to do the math in my head here, like two per second, like, yeah. that's like 120 per minute, 7,200 yeah. per hour. Um, well, if anybody wants to eat cookies very fast, this robot can, can keep up, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>